Okay, so we are going to make a bruschetta pasta or bruschetta, however you choose to pronounce that. Um, and we have our mise en place complete over here, which also it's a French term for do your prep work, but I don't know how you actually pronounce it, so whatever. Um, so we have our spaghetti noodles here. Mine are a veggie pasta. You can use regular pasta. That's fine. I just prefer veggie pasta. You can also use a gluten-free pasta if you'd like. Just add a couple more minutes to the cook time. We have our low-sodium chicken broth. Um, since this has no meat in it, you can make it vegetarian by just using a vegetable broth instead. We have our tomatoes. I cut up uh, four vine tomatoes, which makes about two cups. And it can also be done with Roma, well, whatever tomatoes you want. But Roma tomatoes would be about six of them. Then we have a third cup of our olive oil here. And we have about an eighth of a cup of our fresh chopped garlic, which you can, again, chop with a knife. Or you can use the garlic press, whichever you like best. And so we're actually going to use our rock crock in the microwave this time. So first, what we want to do, oh, we have some basil here that's that I just cleaned and dried. And we're going to show you how to shift out those. Whoop, on there's some pasta over here. Okay, so we're going to want to break this pasta in half, preferably not one at a time. Put it in here, that'll be easier. I don't know how to get pieces out without making them all over the floor, apparently. Okay, so you just break your pasta in half into your rock crock. Okay, and since we're doing um, pasta from a box and not a pasta that's prepared like a macaroni and cheese from a box, you definitely wouldn't want to salt, but a uh, uh, Plain pasta like this, you definitely want to salt your water. Um, in a low, and if you don't use low sodium broth, don't salt it. But salt is flavor. So if you cook it on a stove top, however you cook it, um, be sure to salt it. Put plenty of salt in there. We want it salty like the ocean, as Amberelle would tell us. I don't know about you guys, but she's one of my favorite chefs on the Food Network. So... You got your box of pasta in here, and then we're going to put our four cups of chicken broth in here. Okay. And then, since it's low sodium, we're going to go ahead and control the salt. We're just going to put a little bit in our palm, since it is already flavored with chicken broth. And that's probably about maybe two teaspoons of salt. Okay, and then we're going to take our tongs and we're just going to move the pasta around so we get a little bit of liquid on each of them so that it's less likely that they'll stick together. It's really cool that this thing can go in the microwave, but at the same time, everything in me is telling me don't put it in the microwave because that's odd to be able to put something like that in the microwave. So that's really cool that they ever created that so you can use it in your stove, your oven, your grill, or crock pot also, or your microwave. So we're going to put this, which is just the pasta and the broth, in our microwave up here. Okay, and then you're going to cook that for eight minutes. So that's going to cook. And we have our little handy dandy silicone pot holders. I love these things. I really do. I really love these things. I don't use my other ones anymore. I'm going to have to throw them away. Or not, yeah, they're old enough. I've had them for like 10 years or whatever, so I should probably throw those away. Okay, so while we're waiting, I'm going to scoot this down so you, hopefully you can see better. So we're going to chiffon out our basil here. And we went ahead and I went ahead and rinsed it off and dried it. So I just layered it in the paper towel in a single layer and folded it over and then smash down on the paper towel to dry it up. So we're just unfolding our paper towel here and getting all of our basil out. That's how you can clean and dry any of your fresh herbs. Okay, so to chiffonade, what we need to do is we need to take the largest to the smallest and we just first stack them all together. So that's pretty easy, right? 
I know it sounds like a really hard, fancy word, but it's very simple. We have all the tips here we're going to combine, the tips of the basil, so they're even more sweet because they're tiny, they're the baby ones, and so you're just going to do a really tight roll on it from one side to the other, like you're making a cinnamon roll. So a really tight roll, and then you're just going to run your knife through it, starting at the beginning, okay? Be very careful not to cut your fingers, because these Pampered Chef knives are actually incredibly sharp. I mean, I have some really good knives that I bought, and these definitely outdo my favorite knives. So it's been weird. I have a, I have a favorite knife. It actually looks a lot like this. It's a Guy Fieri knife, actually, um, but it looks a lot like this. It's my absolute favorite knife. I love this size. It's my favorite, and so it's been weird to grab this one as my new favorite instead of that one. So here we have our chiffonade fresh basil, so you can just separate it. And now that's all that is. That's all chiffonade means. It means thin strips. So we rolled it, and we ran our knife through it, so they're just thin strips. And that's a chiffonade. So our microwave has five more minutes, so I'll be back as soon as it's done to do the next part. All right, so our microwave is done here, and we are going to take our little oven mitts. And by the way, these are the medium size oven mitts. There's also full size, and there's also ones that are about this size that are purposely made for the microwave. So we're going to take our rock crock out here. Take our lid off. We're going to give it a stir. Also, a fun fact about these, you can toss them in your dishwasher and clean them that way. How cool is that? And stuff doesn't get stuck on the inside. I hate that. That's why I don't like oven mitts. I like the pot holders because um, I don't like sticking my hand in there and not knowing what's in there. But with these, and you can stick them in the Microwave, just pop them up on a couple of those bars and they'll clean right out the inside and I know there's nothing in there that's gross. Alright, so we got our pasta mixed up and look, it's not sticking at all. That's cool. And so we're going to now add our tomatoes, our olive oil, our garlic. Yum. I love garlic. Yeah, I want all my garlic. Yum, 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 yum. Love garlic and onion. I don't, I don't think I'm any, any part Italian, but I'm definitely Italian at heart. <laughs> I love garlic. Okay, and then we're going to pop our basil in here, our beautifully chiffonade. Chiffonade? Is that a word? Chiffonade? Anyway. We're going to put that in there, and then we're going to give her a nice stir and mix it all up. So then we're going to put this back in our microwave for five, for, not five, for eight more minutes. And if it's still a little loose after that, if it's just a tiny bit loose, just pop the lid on it and let it rest. If not, we can always microwave it for a little bit longer, okay? So no big Deal. All right, got the tomato stuck on there. There you go. So we're gonna pop our lid. Well, it's not too hot, but it is a little bit warm. Actually, just a little bit warm. That's it. All right. So we are going to stick our rock pot. I keep wanting to call it a crock pot. It's a rock, rock crock, <laughs> rock crock. Keep saying it. Rock crock. <laughs> so we're going to pop it in for eight more minutes, and then I will see you when it's done. All right, so our second round of microwave pasta is complete. So let's check it out. Oh, and while we were gone, I was actually cleaning up my space and managed to clean up my tongs to stir too, so I gotta go get those back. Huh. Alright, okay, so 
I'm going to go with this is very watery. So the instructions didn't say whether to use the lid or not. So I'm going to go with it probably meant to not use the lid so steam and liquid could reduce out that or we just need less liquid. This is why, actually this is why I love doing this stuff um, for you guys because you know, everybody makes mistakes, nobody's perfect, and a lot of people won't cook because they'll make mistakes like this and then they'll think, well, I can't cook. Well, guess what? I can cook. A lot of people love to eat my food, and I make mistakes too. So, like I said before, we're just going to microwave it some more, and this time we're going to actually microwave it without the lid on and see how that works. So we're going to go for another eight minutes because it doesn't look like the pasta is quite done. It's possible that my veggie pasta doesn't work quite like regular pasta, so it might, just like gluten-free, need some extra time. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the microwave without the lid this time and go for another eight minutes because it is very liquidy. <sighs> All that liquid, it got a little bit heavy. So we're gonna do another eight minutes and we will see how that goes. Okay, so our microwave is done again. So let's see how we did this time. Oh yeah, that's way better. I'm guessing you're supposed to do it without the lid. Okay, so when y'all do this at home, you can do this and do it without the lid. We're still very watery because we only went one round without the lid. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna do another round. And then I think it'll be good. So definitely without the lid. And I don't know. I might even say just a little bit less liquid as well. Maybe three cups instead of four cups. Yeah, I would say that. That is what I would say. And I just did say actually. So I'm going to put it back in the microwave for another eight minutes. We're doing a lot of eight minute is here. <laughs> But what's the fun in being perfect, right? That'd be boring. So we are imperfectly making good food. Okay, so our fourth round in the microwave is done. So we're gonna check it. It's looking pretty. Okay, so this is much, much better. So what did we learn? We learned that it meant to do the recipe without the lid on, okay? Well, let me show you this so you can see. So see, there's not a whole lot of moisture going on. So this is what it should look like at, after your second round in the microwave, okay? So without the lid, second round in the microwave, Otherwise, not too shabby. Here, let me clean you off. <laughs> not too shabby because it still turned out really well, even though we did it four times. And how awesome is that that we got to do it in the microwave? So now, we are really big meat eaters, so this being no meat, we put some meat on the grill. So my husband is actually out there grilling up some bratwurst. So we are gonna pop the lid on here. And what's great about this is that is fully glazed ceramic helps it to cook evenly and stay warm. So this will stay completely warm no matter how long the bratwurst takes, even though it's not really going to take that much longer. So we're going to keep it nice and toasty here in its pot over here in the corner so the kids don't walk by and accidentally touch it because it is warm. And then when we go to serve it, we're going to put it on a plate, obviously. And then you just top it with cheese. So you can use cheese from the store. Or you can use real cheese and shred it over top. That's what we're going to do tonight. So we're going to shred it right over the top of this pasta. I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now because otherwise it would just melt in there. And I want to do it individually. So obviously this is going to taste better than this. But your choice doesn't really matter. Either way works. Real cheese, processed cheese, either way Clearly I do both or I wouldn't have both. So this time we're gonna go with this one. So that is how you make pasta in the microwave using your, technically a Dutch oven. They call it a rock crock. It is a Dutch oven. 
My son actually keeps pointing that out. I'm not sure how he knows that because he doesn't know a whole lot about cooking. But he knows that, so. Anyway, so that is how you make pasta. You can make any kind of pasta you'd like. Just use the water to pasta ratio. Cook it halfway. Pop whatever you feel like in it. I would do Mexican. This is Italian. You could do Asian. Oh, Asian would be really good. Mm, I do love Asian food, too. So, um, yeah, really easy way to make a full meal for your family. Right in there, pop something on the grill for meat. Or if you don't eat a whole lot of meat, this is all you need.